Pregame.com. All right, Fez, you're actually buying a team with a new head coach and a brand new quarterback. This is Brad Powers, Pregame.com Studios, just off the Vegas Strip. NFL draft officially in the books. And speaking of the books, they've released some season win totals on all 32 NFL teams. And Fez, Last video we did, you're, uh, we're selling the Kansas City Chiefs. Who am I buying as far as this NFL team? Arizona Cardinals over five and a half wins. Five and a half wins, are you crazy? This is a disrespected franchise. The last five years, recent success, Arizona has won seven or more games each and every year. They won eight games last year and this is a franchise that has picked up kind of a sneaky good home field advantage as well. Six or more wins, very attainable. Yeah, and let's talk about why Arizona, I guess, struggled to only win eight games last year. They're missing arguably their best player, running back David Johnson, who missed almost the entire season. He's back. He's a top five back in the NFL, right? Absolutely. You got Bell, uh, you got Zeke, uh, you got Barkley now for the Giants. So, okay, I'm on an <laughs> island with Barkley thinking he's a top five running back. Put David Johnson number four. You lose your top running back like that. It just puts too much pressure on the offense and on your quarterbacks, especially considering Carson Palmer only got to play half the year and there were backups as well. All right. Let's speak. David Johnson upgrade over what they had last year starting for most of the season. But let's talk downgrade. You got to downgrade the head coaching spot. Bruce Arians moves on. Arians one of the more respected NFL head coaches at least the last 10 years. Tell me, talk to me about Steve Wilkes, the Carolina defense coordinator. Yeah, so he moves in to the head coaching. Rookie head coach. I'm always nervous about that. Certainly a downgrade. But one thing, Arians was getting on in age and was having health problems. So instead of this being the disparity between Arians and Wilkes, I think Arians – Last year was more like this, and he was trending downward anyways. So I don't think there's as much of a concern as there would have been as when Arians a few years ago when they made it into the NFC um, title game, and Arians was more on top of his game. Then. Excellent, powerful point there. How about your second key handicap? Quarterback upgrade. Love Sam Bradford. Yes, he's made out of plexiglass. Um, yes, I'm concerned he's not going to last the entire season, but I think he's every bit as good as Carson Palmer. And let's face it, Carson Palmer wasn't able to finish a year. I know that he's better than Drew Stanton yeah. and these other backup quarterbacks that have basically been playing half the year replacing Palmer. All right, and speaking of Sam Bradford, he doesn't make the full season. Well, what did Arizona do? Kind of insurance policy there. They picked Josh Rosen out of UCLA, the number 10 draft pick. What do you think of Rosen? Yeah, and I'm not sure long term if Rosen's going to be as good as Darnold or Mayfield, but all reports say if there's one quarterback, one rookie quarterback that's NFL ready now, it's Rosen. So if Bradford should get hurt, if they do decide to go ahead and give him some starts, I think he's one of the rookie quarterbacks that can actually win some games, especially with a good running game and a good defense. Yeah, and my favorite quarterback value pick of the first round, no question, Rosen at 10 going to Arizona. Love that pick. Love this pick with Arizona going over. Let's go ahead and make it official. Let's make it official. Arizona over five and a half wins. Arizona has a recent history of winning. They have won seven plus games five straight years. And they've often done this with backup quarterbacks, including last year when they had to play the backup to the backup by the end of the year. San Bradford is a key quarterback upgrade. The Fez Mass says go over the five and a half wins on the cards. More videos, pregame.com.